This is a repository that was generated with Create React App. One of the main benefits of using Create React App is that it handles configuring all the tools and build system for you. We're going to switch over to NX and allow NX to handle the build system for you as well. We'll run npx CRA to NX. Once this process finishes, there are some next steps for you to take here to learn more about how to use NX. But you can see up here under apps, our app has been moved into this folder. And if we want, we can generate a new library and we'll call it header. We're going to store a header component in this library. And that's been generated under the libs folder here. And we'll say, this is the header. Now we can use that component in our app. That header. Now, if we want to test our application, we can run nx test awesome app. And this ran test through the create React app setup. You can run nx build awesome app. And this now is cached with nx. So if we run the same command again, it takes almost no time. Also, nx understands your dependency graph. So if you run nx depth graph, you can see that if we show all projects here, we have our awesome app that depends on the header library that we just created. Not only does NX handle your build system for you, but whenever NX releases a new version, you can simply run NX migrate latest, and this will download the latest version of NX and create some migration scripts that will automatically update your config files for you. So you can always be up to date on the latest build system changes. For more information on all the things that NX can do for you, check out nx.dev. You can take advantage of caching, enforced module boundaries, and manage configuration files for you.